To do the pico bind off, you'll need to cast on some additional stitches and then immediately bind them off along with some stitches from your knitted piece. You can use the cable cast on or the knitted cast on method to cast on your extra stitches. And you can cast on any number of stitches that you like, such as two, four, six. And you'll need to bind off twice as many stitches as you cast on. So for this sample, I'll be casting on two extra stitches. That means I'll be binding off a total of four stitches each time I make a pico. So it's two stitches that I've cast on to make the pico and then two stitches from my knitted piece. So I'm just going to do the knitted cast on to get my two extra stitches on here. Okay, now I'm going to bind them off. There's one stitch bound off. And there is the second stitch bound off. Now I need to bind off two more. And there is my first pico. The stitch that you have on your right needle is going to go back to the left needle, just like that. I'm going to cast on two stitches again. There's one. There's two. Now I'm going to bind them off, just like before. There's one. There's two, and two more. And now I have two picos. So again, the stitch that's on the right needle goes back to the left needle. And just continue doing that until all of the stitches have been bound off. And then, just as you would when you're normally binding off, you would cut your tail and pull it through. And there is the Pico bind off. It's nice and elastic. 